Hello, and welcome to episode 39 of Let's Play Total War 3 Kingdoms Gongdu. In the previous episode, we managed to deliver a crushing blow to Sin Se's forces up here. Um, he does still have some remnants left there, and another army with uh, our old friend Chung Pu on his way over to the Riverlands. Um, they do have a couple of good units in that army, but I think overall they're not going to be too difficult to deal with. Um, we... Um, we are also under threat from uh, Zhang Yan and uh, Han Fu, as well as Yuan Xiao, over here on this side of the world. Um, though we do have quite a, what I would say, an adequate response planned out for them. Um, it looks like Gunsun Zan has suffered some pretty serious attrition there to that army as well. Um, and he, he's on his way to Chang'an, even though we've got this army here. We can't save them because we're in ambush stance. Um, so, the... Um, the decision that we're, we're going to be making here, really, um, and, and I'm not entirely sure yet which way we really want to go with it, but I'm leaning towards gearing everything towards taking out Yuan Xiao. Um, at the minute, since uh, is quite keen on peace, we could get a fair amount from him um, if, we, if we made that deal. Um... And what it would allow us to do is get Gongdu's army in the river, round here, and declare war on Yuan Yao, who is currently a vassal of Yuan Xiao. Um, we could take this from him, um, keep probably at least, well no, we probably keep her Yi round here to protect us against Cao Cao, because he still hates us like crazy. But then we could take um, Gongdu and Jiang Kai over this way and start hitting Yuan Xiao on this border. His main forces and his vassals are all over here. We will clear these out one by one, but once we've done that, we could start hitting them there. And we could start hitting them here as well. And it wouldn't be long then before his capital fell to us. So that would be one of the capitals then under our control. We could then get our armies back over here fairly quickly. And then we start a war with Sun Tzu again. His capital's only there. We take the rest of these territories. And then that's up for grabs as well. Then we've got two capitals. And once we've taken Yuan Shao's territories as well. The third capital, New Beer, is right there. So that seems like probably the way we're going to go with this. The, the only thing that gives me a little bit of cause to pause with that plan is. Sun Tzu has far and away the strongest armies that we're dealing with. And if we do, if we give him peace and then we go and deal with Yuan Xiao, one, he may not adhere to the deal. He, he broke his last peace deal after um, five turns, even though it was a ten turn deal. And two, it's going to give him time to build a lot more of these armies with all of the protectors of heaven that are quite difficult to deal with. Um, there's, it's also it's a matter of time before these tribes declare war on us again. And it isn't the worst thing if they do, because we'd like to take these territories... And, and start being able to come in this way towards his capital as well. The um, the pro the only problem is that we still are not getting enough characters to raise new armies. And at this point we really do need at least one or two new armies to, to make the expansion of our territory viable. So it, it could be tricky that way but we need to start making some progress. We can't keep fighting off on two sides because we're just not making enough progress when we're doing that. So I think the um, the first thing for us to do is get uh, He Yi back up here to deal with this army of Cao Cao. Uh, where can he get to? Nowhere really special. So we don't really want to leave that unprotected, I don't think, either. Maybe, actually, what we'll do then, we'll uh, we'll take out Gon Sin Zan with this army, and we should be able to delegate this. That's awfully heavy on the casualties for a low casualty victory, but never mind. Not the best ancillary, let's recruit. Why are these able now to um, to not get wiped when they're in forced march? I'm pretty sure they should be taken off the map when they get beaten in forced march like that, but maybe I'm mistaken. Let's, let's finish them off then. Now that's got to be them finished now. Better ancillary that time. Yep, yeah, we'll take that as well, thanks. And we'll recruit. Okay, that's them dealt with. Okay, brilliant. Now, we do have another army of Yuan Xiao coming up here. Not a very good one, mind. Let's get them back up to Shangyong. Um, right. 
Yeah, so, I mean, if we're going to deal with this army of South Sao, we're going to need to, um... We're going to need to get her Yi back there. So I think we are going to look at getting peace with Sun Tzu. Um, we'll take that army out first, just to increase the chances of him wanting to pay us a lot for peace. Oh, they've retreated again. What a pain they are. Uh, we've got a level up in this army on um, Furong. We'll get him in standard stance. I think we'll get him the uh, Condemn attack as well, make him a bit more useful in duels. And we can give him the matched gen as well because the, he's quite satisfied anyway, so the Noble Sword isn't giving him too much use. Right, yeah, I think we're going to negotiate peace with Sun Tzu, uh, but we, uh, we want to take this first. Yep, so we'll uh, we'll do a night battle and we'll... Well, sure, we'll delegate, even though it's same medium and it shouldn't be medium casualties, but never mind. Not too bad for medium, I guess. His health's pretty concerning, though. Yep, we'll occupy. Um, well, yeah, we'll do it without convoys, I guess. Okay. Um, now, he's planning on doing something, but I don't know exactly what he's planning on doing. Who is he a vassal of? Well, as if I really even needed to ask, um, everyone is a vassal of Yuan Xiao. Well, that's good then, in uh, in a way, because uh, once we get peace with Sun Tzu, we can still continue to take his territories around here. We we try we want to try and avoid making the the place in which we're going to defend too large, though, because again, we we can't get characters to to um, recruit armies to defend it. Let's see. Right, so we're going to offer uh, Sun Tzu one food for 10 turns in exchange for peace and 7,175 gold as a one off payment and 1,271 gold for 10 turns. Now, the reason I've given him this food is just to try and incentivize him to keep the deal. Whether he will or not, I, I don't know because he seems to be fairly unreliable. But at least if he doesn't keep the deal, we're now getting a, a fairly sizable down payment from him. Um, so we're still getting something out of it. So yes, we will propose that deal. Okay, brilliant. Now, we need to start getting geared up to uh, to get after Yen Xiao. So let's uh, let's get Gongdu in the water as quickly as we can, now that we don't have to worry about them uh, attacking us there. We'll get these two armies back over to where they should be to protect us from the tribes. And... We want He Yi to come up here to help us out with this army of Cao Cao. And we might as well get him in forced march so that he can cover a lot of ground. Now, um, we're going to have to be careful of this army of Yuan Yao. Because one, Yuan Xiao might just invite him to war next turn. And two, we are going to be going to war with him as well so we can get this. So we're going to want uh, probably either Gongdu's army around here or her Yi back around there before we do that. Uh, him we will get into Shangyong. And him, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go after them if we can reach them. We can, yeah, and we'll uh, we'll get them in night battles, I think. Now we do want to look at some upgrades. Right in Jincheng, we will upgrade the leisure house to a communal tavern. And we'll do the same in Shufang. And the same again in uh, Junyang. And we might as well upgrade the uh, Dock, Mas Dock Market Depot to uh, Dock Warehouse while we're here. So that'll give us a nice lot of income. Um, right, we can get him back on a track talent. Not that it's, it's working, but I guess what else can we do to get characters? Right, yeah, so now the uh, the next thing is to take out Zhang Yan. Oh, we mustn't have night battles in this army. Well, it's a little bit strange that Han Fu can't reinforce him then. Because they're both part of the same alliance, I believe. Well, never mind. Um, it's a good thing that they can't reinforce him. So let's, uh, yep, we'll start battle. This looks like it's going to be um, a good battlefield for, for what we intend to do to them. Um, there's plenty of trees and... They look like they're going to go up like a house on fire, um, which is very good. We've got um, we've got our spears at the front of the formation in turtle, with our archers behind them set to use fire. The veteran behind them to use as a mobilize with uh, four swords there, four swords behind them. Two lots of cavalry on the flanks with either one of our generals. 
And what we're going to try and do first of all is get a duel with our healer. Let's see if he's actually worth giving Giant Bin to. And um, we're going to try and counter their cavalry with our cavalry as opposed to the spears. As we don't have the charge negation buff from the veteran in this army. So we don't really want the cavalry charging straight into our spears. Uh, sorry, straight into our swords if we had them on the front line. Um, it's going to be dependent on us being able to get here before they advance through there though. So that's uh, that's something that we're going to have to see because bandits can sometimes be quite aggressive. So we'll start and we'll try to set up here as quickly as we can. We uh, we don't want to be in the we don't want to be in the trees if we can help it. So I think maybe here will be a good spot. Though is that uphill? It's slightly uphill. Um, perhaps perhaps trying to get them from here will be will be the best place. Though it looks like they're actually advancing. Maybe not. Right, let's see if we can get a duel with that commander. Yeah, she might duel. Brilliant. And we don't have any buffs to give to our healer. So he's going to be on his own in this duel. It's strange that, again, we don't have the strength matchups here. There. I'm hoping that's going to be far enough away. That thing looks way too big for him, doesn't it? <laughs> let's hope he can use it. Couldn't use his ability immediately. Looks like we did hit that. Yep, we did. Good. Well, so far he's doing very well. But he should be, really, considering uh, his weapon compared to hers. Oh, we got her with a nice shot there. She's just about done now. Yep, another good shot. Brilliant, that's her done. Oh, this is too crazy. Let's get him back to his horse. I'm going to guess that their cavalry will try and rush us now. Yep. Is he back on his horse? He is. Good, let's get him back. We, uh, we don't want them firing at will, but we do want our cavalry forward. And we'll get our scholar as well. Actually, no, we won't. No, we won't. The rest of them are not advancing just yet. We'll get our cavalry to give them a charge. Unfortunately, it looks like it is going to be in the trees, which uh, does work against us a little bit. Brilliant. They're now running away. It's not going to help them very much. Turn our heel around. Get back after them. And hopefully we can catch them before they get back to their uh, troops. No, we can't. Right, okay, we'll pull back then because uh, we don't want to start getting shot by their crossbows. And now they're chasing us again. So I think their, their plan, really, was to um, try and lead us into them. Well, we've got a surprise for them because we're going to immobilize them in a moment. In fact, maybe we won't even need to if we just turn them around now. Yep, there we go. Brilliant, we got them. We will send the veteran in there and we'll send the healer and the scholar in as well. Just to try and get rid of them as quickly as we can. Yep, yeah, that's them pretty much done now. Yep, they've routed. We'll continue to run them down. At least as far as we can without getting into their range. Which we're getting close to now. Yep, yeah, we'll pull back now. Get the cavalry back on the flanks. In fact, we'll just get everyone back in position. And I think we want to be just a little bit closer. And they've left their um, they've left their archers quite vulnerable there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get the veteran with the cavalry that we've got. And we're going to give them a charge, but we're going to immobilize them just before we hit so that the spears can't get in the way. Although, we might as well bring the other two generals we've got, really. And perhaps we can get him round the back to stop the spears coming forward. So let's start him off first. We want to get these as far forward as we can within the trees. Let's we'll see if we can get our veteran behind them, ready to immobilize when they're in the right position. Yep, so we'll get him round that. And we'll start bringing these forward. Yep, 
Now, we want to try and maximize this. So we'll get her into the... Actually, no, we'll get her into the crossbows. We'll get him into them archers. Um, we'll get that cavalry into them. That one into them. That one into them. And that one into them. We'll get him around here, and he's going to immobilize when they get to the right spot. We want to get them spears. Yep, we got them. Good. Right, let's get you to use your... Oh, we can't because of the strategist. That's a shame. Right. He's been uh, he's been caught by spears as well. Let's get him out of there then. Yep, we want to get out of there because they've got too many spears around. We, we will still go after them crossbows though. They've been separated. That sentinel's got tenacity of steel as well. So we want to be careful with her. Yeah, let's get these back. He hasn't lost his horse, has he? No. Let's get the veteran around here to get after them archers. Get her out the way. Did we get rid of the crossbows? Yes, we have. Brilliant. We can call that a success then, since we got rid of them. Oh, brilliant! The sentinels come out. Right, let's uh, let's get everyone on her then. Oh, they've gone into spear war. We don't want anything to do with that. Nearly got them. We can probably get that archer unit there. Okay, brilliant. Now let's get him out of the way. Get him after the sentinel as well. We'll get these two cavalry units after that one. And we'll get the veteran to give them a charge as well. Okay, brilliant. We got rid of the sentinel pretty much. We'll let the healer keep chasing her down. We'll get these two back to deal with this cavalry. And then we want to get out the way, really, because we're taking a lot of uh, shots from their archers. But we want to see if we can get rid of this cavalry unit first. Let's use our ability on them. Brilliant. See if we can just get rid of them all together. Yeah, that's them routing, but we want to make sure they're not going to come back. Yeah, we're getting we're getting pushed into the spears now. Let's get out of that. Enemy general falls. Good. Let's get our let's get our cavalry back and the healer back as well. So now they've already got their strategist left. We are taking some arrows, unfortunately. At least we've got all melee cavalry, so they should be able to tank them quite well. Although that one didn't do too good, did it? Okay, let's get everyone back in formation. Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get them to advance from over here. I think we're going to move to up there. Now, they've probably changed their position as well, but we're going to have to see what we can do. We're going to see if we can get our veteran um, to immobilize the spears while our healer runs in and uses his ability on the archers. And we want to hit them right in the middle there, if we can. It's fine if he goes into the swords, that's not a problem at all. It's actually beneficial for us. Yep, use it now. No, 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 not not while you... Out. Oh, the strategist blocked it. See if we can get rid of that strategist. Oh, we got more spears up there. Right, never mind then. We need to try and get rid of that strategist. We really do. Okay, we're getting fired on. And as soon as that happened, our archers started to break for some reason. Which I can't explain why they're so crap. But they are. Yeah, they've already routed. What a ridiculous bunch of archers. Our generals are getting attacked by spears. Yeah, well, I mean, what on earth is going on here without... Why are we all routing? There's something seriously wrong with this army. This is the same army that kept routing to Hanfu as well. They're all breaking. Every last one of them. Right, some of our archers have come back. I don't know how long they're going to stay back, though, because they just routed for nothing there. They barely even took any casualties, and they just... Like, three guys died, and they routed. Right, let's just get all of this set on fire, and then we can stop caring about the archers, I think. But they're just so... Why are they just routing so easily? That's... There's something really wrong with this army. I dread to see what they'd do in a night battle. If they got attacked in a night battle, they'd probably route before it even began. Under missile fire. There's no reason for them to be on 8 morale because they're under missile fire. Though, look, they're retreating again. How ridiculous. 
Well, fine. If you're just going to do that, then I'm just going to let you get shot at because um, that's not acceptable. Oh, look, they've come back. Brilliant. How long for? I don't understand what's wrong with this army, but we definitely want to get that uh, morale buff with the the healer, the plus 18 morale. I think we're, we might as well just keep the archers back actually until they run out of ammunition because otherwise they're just, they're going to rout. We've already set a fire here so it should, uh, it should spread anyway. Right, we'll get them to fire at will because they are now advancing and uh, we can get, we can get the rest of it set on fire as well. I mean, I don't know how we're going to fare in this battle, though, because they're just routing off everything. So, as soon as they get touched, they'll probably run away. I, I really don't get this army. That Even the other ones, when we had new generals, they weren't as, as pathetic as this. So, Right, we're going to take the cavalry around there to try and distract them spears a little bit. Buy us a little bit of time. We'll uh, we'll also get the veteran in there and immobilize them. We don't want them right in the fire, but we would like to uh, immobilize the ones that are in the worst spots. Them. Brilliant. Right, archers. They're still wavering, idiots. Let's get them to fire on them. Let's get these round there. And them. Um, even though they'll probably rout. Get the veteran out of harm's way. Cavalry round the back. The spears seem to be okay. But for some reason the swords are horrendous. I mean, it's just nuts how, how crap they are. Right, let's get them fighting there. Let's get you two in there as well, and we'll get them to use their abilities. Yeah. Right, we'll get these cavalry to uh, charge into them. Get the healer into that group as well. Let's see if we can take them out. That's ridiculous. They're all routing to that one spear unit. I wish I knew what was wrong with this army. Yeah, you go after them. Um, you after them. <laughs> I wish I knew what was wrong with this army. They're so bad. Even the spears have gone now. They're not like level one either. They're, I, I, I just can't. I have no idea what's wrong with this army. Let's get the spears down there. At least the white wave veterans seem to be keeping their nerve, I guess, but my goodness. I, I don't. We're winning this, this battle by quite a bit. I have no idea why they're routing. But this was the same when we fought Han Fu in that ambush. They just routed constantly. Our cavalry's getting duffed in over here a little bit. Let's get our generals over there. We'll get that archer a charge first. Yep, yeah, then we'll get down that. This is incredible. They're all routing and still our soldiers are running away. There's something seriously wrong with this army, and I want to find out what it is. And now even our cavalry's routing. Alright, we've taken our strategist out. Two of them have routed to the strategist, even though they're a full unit. I, I, there's something seriously wrong there with this army. I have no idea what it is, but we're going to need to find out what that is, because this army's basically useless, if that's how they're going to go on. Absolutely useless.
If we weren't short of characters, I'd disband a lot of them. Um, right, we'll run them down and I'll cut back. Look at this. We've won the battle and they're still running away in mass. Well, normally I'd cut back to uh, to show the troops that worked so hard to win the battle, but... I mean, these guys, not only have most of them ran away anyway, but the, the ones that stayed, I'm not sure they actually deserve to, uh, to get any screen time. They were horrendous, that army, um, and they were against Han Fu as well. I don't know if it's a lack of authority, maybe some weird debuff that we've got, maybe a, a trait from a couple of the generals in the, in the province, the enemy generals. Maybe they decrease the morale. We're going to have to find out because um, that that cannot continue. If it does, we might as well just give them the um, the western side of our territory. We'll end battle. I mean, that really is pathetic. We lost 170 units and then we're routing like it was a Pyrrhic victory of some kind. Um, yeah, we'll take the replenishment, I guess. Let's just check these generals' traits and see if there's anything that's given us a minus buff to... Uh, morale. Right, it doesn't seem like there's anything um, that's causing that, so I, I don't know what it is, but I'll tell you something else as well. This guy has uh, Scare, so God knows how they're going to react to that. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll get uh, an authority-centric trait, or maybe we can get... Yeah, we can get plus 8 morale, yeah, well, we're definitely going to do that on him, because clearly they need it. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll take that off her. And we'll give her this, and then uh, while we'll be losing a bit of replenishment, we'll be getting plus three morale from that, plus six authority. I say she'd probably be better off with that, but I, she's got a lot of authority traits as well. It's like I've got no clue why that was so bad. Let's give her that then, I guess. Um, yeah. And I think what we'll do um, as well, I think the only reason we couldn't get the um, giant bin on our other veteran is because he had already equipped it on his own for some reason. Um, so let's just see if we can get that off him and give it to him. And then, because he can get Encourage with his next um, his next level up and he's not that far away from it. Um, so we, we want to do something to correct that morale problem. Yeah, we'll remove that from him. Yes, we can then equip it on him. Good. And then we've got two of them spears, um, which will give one of them to our healer, which will actually work better with his uh, with his instinct as well. Um, yep. Yeah, so we'll give him we'll give him that. Um, and he's very close to um, to being legendary now. It'd be it'd be nice to see if we can get a duel with her as well, because um, she next level can get night battles. Uh, but the, the morale thing is the real problem that we're facing with this army. And I think what we're going to do first, uh, or what we're going to do, it'll have to be after the battle. We're going to swap these out for Men of the Forest. Um, I mean, 10 morale, man. What is with this army? Let's just check that. They, I mean, so these level 8 yellow turban warriors have got 21 morale. Them level 6 ones have got 46 morale. Her authority is not even as high as the other scholar's authority. She does have the charisma trait, whereas she doesn't, so maybe that makes some difference. But, I mean, not that big of a difference. And look at the difference in traits. I, I, I can't explain that, really. Now, they've only got 31 morale, so maybe they just don't have good morale, and the, uh, the generals that we've had them with have happened to have very good buffs to it. Well, whatever the case may be, hopefully that... Uh, that skill that we've got with him, the plus 18 morale, is gonna, uh, is gonna work very well for us in this army. Um, but we're going to have to see if we can win a duel with him as well and get that encourage ability. So uh, let's, and, and I think the vanguard would be a good choice for it, so let's get them after Han Fu. Well, as long as they keep their nerve, it'll be less, it'll be much better than a Pyrrhic victory, but I'm not convinced that they will. Let's start battle. Right, we set up again with the spears at the front, archers behind them, the crap swords behind them, and another lot of crap swords behind them, with the crap cavalry. On either side. I forgot to mention that the spears and the archers are crap as well. Um, but let's hope that... Let's hope that that makes some kind of a difference. Let's find out. Okay, well, now they've got normal levels of morale. Um, it's still not great, but it's it's normal, at least. For level 1 Yellow Turban Warriors. Uh, I mean, why, why they're so crap, I cannot explain. I wish I knew why. I really wish I knew why they were so crap. 
Let's see if we can get a, a duel with that Vanguard because we uh, we don't want them next to a guy who can enable scare. They're, they're scared enough already, the little wimps. And that cavalry's coming after us already. Um, we don't really want that. But what we'll do is we'll get them to with our cavalry over here. We'll lead them back with a veteran and then we'll immobilize them if that's the way they want to play it. Oh, they've caught him. We, uh, we don't want him losing his health. We need a duel with him. They're now trying to get away. Well, they're not going to get away. Might as well get him... Actually, no. Probably probably best not use his ability on them. We are getting fired on there, though. We don't want that. Right, that's that cavalry unit gone. We will keep running them down, but we'll get our veteran back over here so that he can try and get a duel with their vanguard. But unfortunately, he won't duel our veteran. We've got another cavalry unit trying to attack us. As if they didn't learn the lesson the first time. We'll get them far enough away from their um, archers. And then we'll dive on them as well then. We definitely don't want to be getting shot at though. Yeah, that should do it. There. Lovely. Brilliant, that's that cavalry unit taken care of as well then. That's what happens when you're overly aggressive. He might duel our scholar. We don't really want her dueling him very tired either. We'll um, we'll get her back over there, but we'll have a walk and I'll cut back when she's in position. They've done something here. They've set it on fire on their own and now the crossbows are shooting at us and we don't have the healer over there to give them the morale. Um, it's as if they don't realise that they need somebody to hold the hand while they fight. Yeah, look at them. They're wavering already. Right, let's see if we can get a duel with him while, uh, while he's over there. She's still winded, so it's not the best, but never mind. It's incredible, that. We need to get this healer back over to them, though, otherwise they will break. Let's see if we can, uh, see if we can focus on the crossbows. And stand your ground as well. They're both wavering. There's something really wrong with this army. Oh, she got him with a nice shot there. Now, uh, he is quite powerful, but he will hopefully get weaker as the duel goes on and she will be able to evade and counter him. Okay, we've got a cavalry trying to assault us here. I think we'll get the our cavalry and the veteran on them. We'll immobilize them as well. And now we've finally got our healer back here, so maybe we can actually do something with this army. But he's going to have to hold their hand every time they fight because uh, they're just horrendous. So bad. Worst army I've ever had, this. Yeah, they're trying to lead us back into them uh, spears and we're not interested in that. Let's get them back. We'll, uh, we'll continue to just have our archers shoot, even though they don't seem to be shooting for some reason. Oh, now they are. They must just have a bad firing rate. We'll stack our cavalry up on this side. We'll get uh, two lots of swords out here because it looks like them spears are going to come round. Yep, well, in fact, we'll take these swords as well. Again, though, we want to make sure that they're still within the healer's zone of influence because uh, they need their hand held. Let's move them over this way a little bit. They're still breaking. This army is ridiculous. Right, we'll, um... Now, well, we're gonna have to get him on Hanfu, really, I guess. No, no, you stay around the healer because you can't be trusted on your own. You need to be supervised. We'll use his ability, even though it's gonna get a lot of our troops, but... Hopefully it doesn't do damage. I think it just knocks them over. Right, all of you, get on him. We want rid of him. It's incredible how bad the morale is in this army. Let's get them to charge back down. Brilliant, she's emerged victorious from that duel. And, and despite the debuffs they'll be getting because of that, they're not breaking and our guys are. That That's amazing. That really is amazing. I have no idea what's wrong with this army. But they're terrible. 
Yeah, let's just get them to charge in there, I think. And we'll get our cavalry down there as well. Um, the spears are gone. We don't really want them following them into that uh, fire, though. Let's get everyone back onto him for now. She's back on a horse. Let's get her over here to deal with these archers. Let's get the spears on him as well. Right, these crossbows are still not going to be able for some reason. I think we want to get the archers on them. Well, one archer unit that didn't run away, despite the plus 18 buff. And the whole army, apparently, it takes to take Kung Fu out. Doesn't surprise us with this useless lot. Oh my god, now they're running away. This is... I wish I knew what was going on here. Look at the wavering, like... This army's pathetic. We'll get our scholar up there and start running down the ones that are getting away because uh, we could use the extra experience on her to get night battles. Then at least we've got even morale with the debuff that'll give them, I guess. And we'll get him ready to run the rest down because he needs encourage because apparently they need both hands held, not just the one. And since the White Wave veterans are the only one with a pair of balls, we'll get them to uh, charge the spear unit. Okay, that's the spear's gone. We'll get them back. Okay, well... We'll run them down and I'll cut back. Well, that's them pretty much done. Um, I, I need to know what's up with this army. It's, it's, they're, they're insanely wimpish. Let's, uh, let's claim. Well, it wasn't. It was decisive. But, I, I mean, some of them ran away for some reason anyway. Well, I mean, despite them running away, we didn't lose that many considering the uh, it was supposed to be a Pyrrhic victory. We will take the recruitment. Um, and we'll see if we can finish either one of these off, really. I don't, I don't think we can reach either of them. No, we can't. Um, at least we got the level up on her, though. I mean, maybe that will be useful. But night battles are inherently more useful for, for every kind of situation. So, um, we'll we'll get her that. And then at least we've got night battles. And, um, I mean, it's probably just going to be us running away and them running away in an endless chain with that army. We're going to have to figure out what on earth has got them so bad. So his retinue seems to be fairly stable. I mean, there's no real reason for that because he's only given plus two unit morale. That, that's the whole army, is skill. Her retinue is one of the worst and um, she's given extra three morale. She's got another three morale there. I wonder if it's one of the... Ah, that's it then. Oh, well, I don't mind that as much now then. If that's, um, I thought there was something really seriously wrong with this army, but if that's just the effect of a scheme, which it looks like it's only going to last another one turn, or maybe it does only last one turn, who put that on us? Was it Sound? It can't have been Sound Tao because, um, he needs to have a character within the vicinity, I think, to, uh, Let's see if we can find out who put that on us. Right, here it is. Um, so it lasts three turns, and it's minus 20 morale, but it doesn't seem to tell you who put it on you. Um, well, it, it's got to be Yuan Shao, then. Well, at least we know what was going on there, then. That's fine. If it only lasts three turns, but I hope it has quite a long cooldown as well, because that's an immensely powerful ability. Could affect balance, I think, if uh, if that's something they can just spam. But, um, I mean, we managed to win these battles despite it, and... Uh, well, it only lasts three turns, so it's not the worst. Okay, then. So, uh, I think... I think we can now... Uh, I think we're okay to end the turn. Although we we can make some upgrades with our post-battle loot income, so we might as well do that, then. In Huawei, we'll upgrade the Leisure House to Communal Tavern. And in Zhangyang, we'll upgrade the basic labour accommodation to labour family houses. Now, for some reason, we're getting a minus 15% replenishment debuff on this army. Yeah, so apparently we've got minus 5% replenishment from one of the schemes. 
a minus 10% replenishment from one of our generals. Wow, it's her. Why on earth does... <laughs> There's no explanation for that. It's not a rank. Her, uh, her subtype actually improves replenishment. It's not any of our traits. That is bizarre. I wonder if we move her outside of the force. Yeah, now they're getting full replenishment again. <laughs> okay then. That's kind of weird. Why is she... I really want to know why she's not getting the replenishment now. There's some weird stuff going on in this episode. Well, do you know what? If that's going to be her debuff, which doesn't seem to be a reason why she's got it, we might want to swap her out for, for her instead, I think. But we'll have to do it next turn when we got more money. Um, we, there's no point in having an army, having a general that's going to do minus 15% replenishment. I, I, I have no idea where that's come from, unless it's another scheme, but it, it doesn't say it's a scheme, it just says it's an effect from the general. So, uh, yeah, well, if that's still there next turn, then we're gonna, we're gonna swap her out for that healer. Okay then, yep, we can end turn now then. Well, we knew it was just a matter of time. We'll we'll be after a couple of our territories anyway, so... This again. Well, at least we don't have a lot of trade. But if this is how often they actually use this scheme, what's the point of making trade agreements? I, I don't know how I feel about these schemes. We'll have to see... This again. Could it be that they used that so many times? That's why we got minus 15, maybe. Oh, brilliant, we got a character. Right, well, we definitely want to heal it. They're the only ones that can get decent units. And we got Ancillary as well. That must have been what the healer brought in. Wow, that's a... That's a hell of a... Um, we need a Lord of Virtue. That would be astronomically useful. I'd really prefer if it give us younger characters. But sure, I mean, I'll take what we can get at this point. And actually, he may be better than her. Though he can't get fire. But let's take a look at that retinue. Yeah, he's got slightly better traits. I think we'll use uh, you to... Right, let's uh, let's get him some decent units. So, okay, so we've gone with uh, one Yuxi unit. Uh, oh, and the action points have reduced, so we're, we're not going to be able to attack that this turn. Uh, but anyway, we've gone with two Yuxi, a White Wave Veteran unit, and three Cavalry units as well. Uh, but to be honest, before we declare war on him, we want Gongdu or somebody around here to protect this from Yan Yao because he's fairly close by. Um, so let's see if we can get him. Oh, he's in a really quite awkward spot. We'll uh, we'll get him into bat, and then hopefully we can get him straight in the water. Yeah, we can. So uh, then we'll be able to get him around there quite quickly. Yeah, two turns. Right, we want him back over there because Jurong's declared war again. And we'll have him... Um, Probably that's going to be best for him, because they'll invite the other two, most likely. We'll keep her spare for the time being, but when we've got her back, I think what we'll do with her is we'll recruit an army over here, and just place her there with an archer captain retinue, and um, a melee captain retinue. And then we can more comfortably take these over here to take these territories without leaving this completely unprotected. Um, they're raiding, so we'll go and finish them off. Yeah, of course, they retreated. They just like being annoying. Uh, yep, we'll do a night battle and we'll delegate. Uh, yep, we'll take the replenishment. And can we reach them? We can't. Well, we'll, uh, we'll get them as close as we can to there. And then we'll go over this way and we'll start taking this next turn. Um, I, I might, we might as well upgrade these to Men of the Forest anyway, though. Although it's going to reduce their, um, it's going to reduce their rank. But they, these are quite, they are better archers, especially when it comes to getting charged or being in melee. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get them. Oh, I've just realised how this works as well. Right. Well, I am a blooming dumbass, aren't I? Right. Yeah, so, right, this, when I was trying to figure out how we could tell which units are for which, the top line is Scholars, the middle one is Healers, and the uh, the end one is, is Veterans, and you can tell that by the end result there. Um, I mean, it could be explained a bit better, though, if, I mean, if you don't read Chinese, that is. But, 
that all of this stuff, these units, that I mean, that's like satisfaction for veterans. That's um, satisfaction for veterans. Income from peasantry. Then there's our um, axe cavalry, and then over here you got satisfaction for healers, etc., etc. And units that healers can get, um, and then over here you got the stuff for scholars. So let's see if we can get better infantry with scholars. Then make them a bit more useful. Well, in three turns we can get both of these units. Um, they're both small units, unfortunately, but they do seem rather interesting. And they've actually got very low upkeep cost. They've got poison weapons, so at least we can get some better infantry um, with them. And, and both of their morale's pretty good, especially theirs. So sure, let's uh, let's do that then for three turns. Right, we'll see if we can get these in ambush stance near uh, Anding, and we just want them to be able to reinforce. Because we'd quite like him to come up here to try and attack Anding, and then we can get him. Although they're already suffering attrition, so I don't know if they will. Um, not really sure what Cao Cao's plan is here, um, but we will get her Yi hot on his tail to, uh, to head him off. And, and I mean, good luck with that army, Cao Cao. They're not doing much. To anyone. Um, right, I think we want them to be right on the border of Yun Yao because we are going to declare oh, war on him. Oh, look, we've got um, we've got two little armies here that we're going to need to deal with. Well, well, we'll move them back up for now then. Um, we should have probably went down there a bit more cautiously. But, I mean, they're not going to be much of a problem. They're suffering attrition as well because they're in Lubia's territory. Yeah, we can we can do both of them, um, but it's it's just to stop Yuan Yao coming up here, really. Right in uh, Shangyong, we'll upgrade the pine wood woodcutter camp to pine timber storehouse, and then we'll end the turn. <laughs> you must be nuts. Of course, that isn't a decisive defeat. It's um it's a good plan though because we've barely replenished with this army, but uh, with with Jiang Kai and uh, what we've got here, we will be able to take these out. Oh, this must be the new Northern Army, guys. As are they. Oh, he's actually got a lot of the Northern Army units here. Well, this this could be really bad then. Maybe he'll uh, capture Jiang Kai and uh, get us back for all of those generals of his we've killed. But oh, look, it's Jiang Yang back again. He's come back to uh, <laughs> he's come back to seek his vengeance. Well, I mean, I think we'll do okay. Let's uh, let's find out, eh? Right, so we've uh, we've set up with um, two, well, three lots of spears. The reclaimers from the garrison, but they're not a full unit, so we put both of them in there uh, on that gate. We've got our um, stalwart shields on that gate. Three lots of yellow turban warriors behind them with our new general UT, U U2, sorry, um, on this side with the garrison archers as well to try and deal with uh, these troops that are coming in here with uh, Saihu Yuan. And um, we've got um, Yong Feng Lin over here with the very diminished cavalry. Um, we're going to have to get him healed up, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and get a duel with Jiang Kai. We'll see how that's going, and we'll probably use the healing buff on Jiang Kai as well. Um, and it preferably would be a duel with uh, Cao Cao, but I've got a feeling he... Well, I mean, he dueled in the last one, so let's, let's hope he, he duels again. If not, it'd be nice to get a duel with him. One, because I don't like him, but two, um, because he's got that morale debuff, and we could do without that, really. Um, and the uh, the other thing is, we've got most of our high morale troops and unbreakable troops, although we've only got one full group of Yuxia, um on this side with some stakes, some stalwart spears, and our good archers here to try and take the majority of his army. And we have got the archers on um, standard shots, because the firing rate's much higher on standard shots than it is on flaming shot. There's not a lot of foliage that they're going to be walking through and, and staying in, um, especially in the rain, to, to really make a big difference, and we want them to do as much damage as they can before they get to us. We've also got the oil over here, and the off chance that they decide to bring any cavalry units around, we can quickly set them on fire and do them a lot of damage. So uh, we're going to start the battle. We'll get Jiang Kai out there, and we'll just see if we can get a duel. Uh, right, so Cao Cao will not duel. Jiang Yan will. Right. Okay then, well let's get him around here as well then. Uh, let's get him grouped up with them as well though, just in case. And we'll get him, probably try and hide him there. Now we don't want to be next to their army though, when we take this duel. We want to make sure that we're far enough away that we can quickly, um, once it's finished, get back on the horse. And get back into the fight. Yeah, there we go. 
Now is he no? Is he, is he hidden? He's not, right? Yeah, we don't want him getting charged by that cavalry though. Um, is he hidden now? He's still not hidden. Right, well, I don't know why. They're all using smokescreen as well, which will hinder our ability to do damage to them before they get to us. Um, they seem to have quite a high missile block chance. Yeah, they're 60%. Well, we're just going to have to do what we can with that. Right, let's get his uh, buff on and use his ability. I don't like that cavalry unit being there. Let's see if we can get him over into them trees. We want him hidden. Oh, he is hidden now. Right, well, he's not now, like, but he was for a moment. Brilliant, we did a lot of damage to him there. Um, well, we need this healer healed up anyway, so we might as well just put the healing buff on Jankai and make sure he's got full health when this ends. Uh, okay, the archers have more or less emptied their uh, their quivers. Right, let's get them down there after that spear unit and them after that one. And we'll get them there, and we do want all of these standing their ground as well. And archers, why don't you focus on their shock cavalry, I think. Okay, they're now charging in. Again, we want everyone here standing their ground. And we want them, yep, yeah, and then we'll get these charging in as well. And these. Just clog this gate up, make sure... Yep, yeah, Jankai's... Oh, he's getting charged. Right, well, we're going to have to... Uh, let's hope he doesn't dodge around his horse. We're going to have to get him back over here, I think, and we'll get the cavalry to help out with them. Because we, we healers don't have a lot of health, and we certainly don't want to lose him. Right, Jankai's back. Brilliant. Let's get after that cavalry as well. Don't really want to be getting charged by them. Look at the speed on their charge. Um, we're going to have to use his ability, unfortunately, which I didn't really want to do until... Well, maybe not. We'll, uh, we'll see. We might be able to get away with it once Jankai gets over here. Why is he still over there? Come on. But that cavalry has eaten us alive. What are they doing? I told them to stand their ground. Right. Um, I think... Right. Uh, this healer's not really any use there. I think we're going to get him around here. And what on earth is that unit doing? Let's get them after ourselves out. Right. Yep. Let's do your melee evasion. Let's get him. Let's get him out of the way of that because uh, he's taking a lot of damage, and we can use his ability over here and his, for that matter. And I hope he doesn't take a lot of damage when we do this because uh, he's uh, he's not doing so good in terms of his health. Right. Yep. Yeah, you get in there. Brilliant. Use your ability. Lovely. Get out. Get out, get out, before you take damage. And then we can get him healed up at some point. As long as he doesn't rout. Brilliant, we're finally making some progress over there. Let's get this healer in, do the same. Sounds like I was doing a lot of damage, my goodness. Brilliant, let's get him to use his ability as well. Excellent, let's get him out. Oh, they're getting chased. Yeah, we do not want to be getting charged by them. We don't want him in that mix, really, either. Right, let's get him down there to help. Uh, what's going on down here? We're winning. Right, good. Um, let's get one of these sword units. In fact, two of these. Two of these sword units over here to help us out. And what's going on with this cavalry? Yep, yeah, let's see if we can get rid of them. Got 128 seconds left on his cooldown there. Their archers are almost out of ammunition. They haven't done a lot anyway. They're only archer militia. Right, brilliant. That cavalry's gone. Let's get these up here. That's 100% charge resistance, I believe. Yeah, well, more than that. But, uh, yeah, we, we don't want to be charging them at the minute then. Though it looks like they're about to break. Let's get everyone on the south side. Apart from the spears, we'll keep them on the cavalry. And that buff's going to wear off by the time they get there. So let's get them to charge them. Apart from him, we, we need to make sure that he stays alive and he can heal. Oh, we're breaking now. We're getting some routes. Let's give Melee Evasion. And let's get Jankai to use his ability when he gets in the mix. Probably on South Tower would be best. Yep, let's get these sword units in there. On him. Brilliant, they've routed now, it looks like. Their spears are coming back. I don't know what their plan is, but we don't really want them going up against him. 
Right, let's get all of the spears on him now that he's coming here. That sword unit's taking a tremendous amount of punishment. We should be able to get these out of here soon, because uh, the South South's about to go. Where's Jiang Kai? There. Oh, why has he gone into them? I don't think I told him to do that. I hope I didn't. Yep, use your ability on them. He's done it right. That's fine. They're routed. Let's get rid of them as well. We might as well. Okay, brilliant. Yep, yeah, excellent. Wow, that was that was more difficult than I expected. Let's see if we can get him, um, and we're going to run down the, the rest of them, and I'll cut back. Well, yes, that was uh, that was fairly close. It was uh, a little bit sketchy at times, that one. But we managed to get through it, so let's end battle. Yeah, one of the closer battles that we've had. Oh, look at this. Yes, please. <laughs> this is great. So, we can annoy Yan Xiao. We can annoy Han Fu. I don't really care about her. But we can annoy Cao Cao as well. And we can get the Red Elite. And we can get the G of the Imperial Guard. And we can execute Zhang Yan. Well, this feels like Christmas. Thanks. Um, yes, we will recruit. Well, let's let's hope we don't have to deal with another army there because we're pretty diminished. Why is she always on fire when we're at war with her? But sure. Oh, this again. Um, I think we'll go for the public order then. We didn't get any characters, unfortunately. Oh, that's a nice horse, though. Okay. So, um, unfortunately, we didn't make the progress that I was hoping to make in this episode. I was I was hoping to be kind of over to at least Luoyang by now. Um, and it looks like we might have them to deal with next turn. Um, which is less than ideal, given what we're left with. Though, to be honest, we, we'd be better off disbanding them and recruiting them again. Just so that we've got them in the army. And we will be able to deal with them regardless um, if they do decide to attack us. It just means that we're going to be missing out on replenishment again with this army. Um, we should be able to get to them. Mm, not quite. Maybe we want to... Uh, uh, well, we can't get that much further in Force March. We probably just want to be on their heels, really. When we go after them. Um, yeah, we can't attack them that turn. Um, but, I mean, the, the main reason we're struggling to make progress is just because we don't we haven't got the characters to, to build more armies. If this was a Han campaign, we could just go into the character pool and, and get a bunch of characters, build another couple of armies. We've got the income to do it. We've got more than enough to do it. Um, and then start advancing all over the place. But because we can't do that, um, it's taken much longer than it should for us to get over there and seize this capital. And it's also putting a lot of strain on the generals that we've already got because sooner or later they're going to start dying. A little bit odd that Mong Ho's all the way down here, but sure. Um, anyway, that being said, um, next episode we are going to try fervently to uh, increase our advance towards Yuan Xiao because we need to wrap that up quickly because it's a matter of time before Sun Tzu decides to uh, declare war on us again and we'd like to be able to focus all of our armies down here. And maybe even quickly take Liu Bei's uh, capital as well when we take Grin Chow's. So uh, that's all we've got time for in this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again next time. Thanks. Bye-bye now.